For the last five years, I have been driving this Chevy Volt. It's a 2012 and has saved me a ton of money in gas getting back and forth to work and running around town. With my oldest daughter getting ready to turn 16, I wanted her to have something that would be safe and reliable, and I think this is gonna be a good option for her. However, that leaves me with no vehicle to drive. So, to get something that's gonna fit me a little bit better and my mountain bike lifestyle, I decided to upgrade. Let's check it out. This is my 2011 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport Edition. I am super pumped to finally be a taco owner and I can't wait for some mountain biking adventures with this truck. Now, whenever I bought this truck, I knew that I was gonna need a way to carry my bikes and I could have gone with a hitch rack option, which is still something that I can do if I decide the tailgate pad isn't for me, but I decided to go the tailgate pad because it is super sleek and I can leave it on pretty much all the time and carry up to five bikes in this particular configuration. This is the Fox Factory Overland Edition of their tailgate pad. One thing that I really like about this is the amount of padding that it has on the outside and the inside to help keep your bike from getting damaged and also prevent your vehicle from getting damaged at the same time. This is a little bit more expensive than a lot of the pads out there. This one runs right around 175 to 185, depending on whether you've got a medium sized truck or a large sized truck. With that said, let me show you how to install this and all the features that it comes with. All right, so I've got the tailgate pad off the truck now. Let me show you how to kind of install this. The easiest way is to just simply lay this over the bed with these straps hanging down open up the tailgate and then once it's open, you will be able to take these straps and slip them up through the tailgate. Okay, now that you've got all four straps through the tailgate, uh, you can just simply start weaving them through these little buckles right down here. And don't tighten them down all the way at first just kind of get it to where the strap won't fall back through the tailgate while you're installing this. All right, now that you've got it locked in and you're ready to tighten this down, what I like to do is I like to keep these little hooks here that are gonna actually connect to the frame of the bike, I like to push them up as close to the top of the tailgate as I can because your down tube is gonna be angled. So I'll start with the middle one. Just kind of pull it as nice and tight and then try to get it evenly tightened as you go. Now it does come with these little elastic bands that you can make this nice and neat and clean looking but it's not necessary, you don't have to do that. One of the other features that this particular tailgate pad has is it has these little grommets right here and one on the other side. This is meant to run a cable through and that way you can lock it into any of the tie downs that you have on your truck. So if you get one of these and you plan on leaving it on your truck all the time, you're gonna wanna lock this thing in because being around $200, you don't want somebody just to come up, lower your tailgate and take this thing off your truck. So do some preventative measure and lock this thing in. It's not a perfect solution, but it might deter somebody. Now that you've got these straps tightened down at this angle, raise your bed up just a little bit and look to see if you've got a little bit of looseness down here. If you do, I leave it at an angle and just kind of pull on it, get it nice and tight. All right, now that you've got all these tightened down nice and tight, you're ready to close the tailgate. And there you go. That's how you set up the Fox Overland tailgate pad. It's super simple. Now let's go ahead and load a bike. When you load your bike, you just undo the Velcro strap for the area that you want it to go in. 
And then simply just take your bike, put it in the bed, and turn the wheel at an angle just like this. It'll rest, the fork will rest up against this pad here. And then you just take this single strap and loop it back through itself and tighten it down to the bike. Once you've got that strapped in, you're ready to hit the trails. Now, being that this is a Tacoma, it is a medium sized truck. So this is the Fox factory medium tailgate pad. They do make a larger one for full size trucks. The medium will hold five bikes. So you can get a lot more bikes on a tailgate pad than what you can on a traditional bike rack. And with the large tailgate pad, so if you have like an F-150 or a Dodge Ram, you can get six bikes on there. If you wanna get access to the tailgate handle or if you have a rear view camera, you can opt to take these little pieces out here. It comes with two of them. I chose to take one out for the handle and then I also have a camera right here. So it gives you the option to be able to leave this on and still have access to the tailgate and be able to see whenever backing up. Really nice feature that you don't see in all tailgate pads. Some have a flap, but this one actually has a, an adjustable little pad there so you can protect your paint, but still have access to the handle and be able to see the camera. And there you are. That's the Fox Overland tailgate pad. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Do you guys use a tailgate pad or did you switch back to a hitch mount rack? If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to become a member and help this channel grow, go ahead and click that join button on my YouTube page. It only runs you a dollar a month and you get my videos just a little bit early and it helps me do videos like this and so much more. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.